Hello champions, welcome to our Form 2 Mathematics lesson and today we will be discussing a new topic that is area part of a circle and uh, we will start with the first lesson that is the area of a sector. I'm your teacher Mr. Wanyeke from Meridgas High School. Welcome. By the end of this topic you should be able to number one find the area of a sector Number two, find the area of a segment. And number three, find the area of common regions between circles. Let us start by looking at the parts of a circle. In the first circle here, we have the diameter, the radius, a chord, a segment, central vertex, and... Um, when you talk about the diameter, there's a line that cuts a uh, circle into a half. And then the radius is half of a diameter. Remember the diameter passes through the center, the central vertex or the center of a circle. And then now uh, in this diagram, the word where, where the arrow that is running from the center to the end, the other end where there is one diameter and the other one where there is uh, the word radius, that forms a sector. Though we'll be looking at that later. And then we have a chord. There's a line that run running a bit far away from the diameter. Um, and this chord, this is a line that runs from one, one end of the circle to the other, uh, regardless of it going through the center or towards the uh, away from the center. And this chord divides the circle, circle into two parts. That's called a segment. Then in the second circle, we have a major sector and minor sector. Major sector the one in pink and the minor sector the one in yellow. And then we have the major arc the one in red and then we also have the minor arc the one in green. The area of a sector. I'm sure you're very familiar with the first diagram here of, of uh, something that you love eating that's a, a pizza and uh, when you are sharing a pizza, you normally cut it in several portions, running from the center to the end of that circular um, pizza. And this part that you give to, you share out, is forms uh, the sector. In the second diagram, we have the sector shown there, of running from point O to A to B. That area that is enclosed by that region, is called a sector and it has a sector angle theta then the radius is there running from the center of the circle to the point a and the other one running from center to the point b and then we have the length of the arc a b as l and the area of the sector a o b is given by theta over 360 times pi r squared theta over 360 times pi r squared remember pi r squared is the area of a circle so we'll be using this concept in our lesson today let us look at some examples in example one we have a pizza whose one part has been eaten away and this part is a sector so we can find the area of the remaining pizza and uh, this will be given by uh, the formula theta over 360 times pi r squared and therefore we see the angle of the remaining sector at the center is 240 degrees over 360 times 22 over 7 times the radius the radius is 21 times the radius again because this pi r squared and when you write this you get 924 centimeters squared students what would be the area of the sector that is shaded in example 2 where you have angle AOB as 120 degrees. So you'll do the same way. You say it is 120 over 360 times uh, 22 over 7 times 9 times 9. You can do this at your own time. You can complete that one. Dear yes, students, this is our class assignment number one. You can attempt the four questions. And the question for each of them is that you're supposed to find the area of the shaded parts. 
you can pause and do the work or you can continue with the video and do the assignment later on. Let us look at example three, where we are told that in the figure below, you find the area of the unshaded region and closed between uh, the two concentric circles of radius of already seven centimeters and 14 centimeters, where angle AOC is 40 degrees. So for us to get the area of the unshaded part, which is actually a ring made by the large, the bigger circle and the smaller circle, then we need first of all to find the area of sector ABDC, the area of that part, of the shaded part ABDC. And uh, to get this area ABDC, we need to get the area of the larger sector OAC minus the smaller sector OBD. We start with the bigger circle and its sector AOC and radius it's 14 centimeters. So we'll say because the angle at O is 40 so we'll say it is 40 degrees over 360 times 22 over 7 times 14 times 14 and when you evaluate this you'll get um, 68.44 centimeters squared. Then you also do the same for the smaller sector formed by the smaller circle. Uh, that, that sector is OBD. So you say it is 40 over 360 times 22 over 7 times 7 times 7. And that will give you 17.11 centimeters squared. Therefore, the area of ABDC will be 68.44 centimeters squared minus 17.11 centimeters squared, and that will give you 51.33 centimeters squared. From there, we get the area of the ring. The ring we said is the area that is between the outer circle and the inner circle. So this area will be given by the bigger circle or the outer circle minus the smaller circle or the inner circle. That will give us that region between the two circles. And this one is given by 22 over 7 times 14 times 14 minus 22 over 7 times 7 times 7. That gives you 616 for the outer circle or the bigger circle minus the area of the inner circle or the smaller circle which is 154 centimeters squared and that will give you the figure 462 centimeters squared. Remember we have evaluated the area of part of the ring which is ABDC. So the unshaded region now the area will be 462 the area of the ring minus uh, 51.33 which was the area of ABDC and that gives your answer as 410.67 centimeters squared. Let's look at example 4. We are told to find the area of the minor segment of a circle of radius 42 centimeters if the length of the corresponding arc is 44 centimeters so the distance from a through p to b is 44 centimeters so the first thing is to draw that circle uh, as shown in this figure and then you find the angle at o now we know that the length of a, an arc will be given by theta over 360 times pi d or times 2 pi r because 2 pi r is d now to get the length of the arc, so we use the formula theta over 360 times pi d and that will give us theta over 360 times 22 over 7 times 84 because we need the diameter, the radius was given as 42 so the diameter is 84 and that is giving us the figure we were given as 44. So you want to evaluate theta because theta is unknown. And when you simplify out, you find that it is 11 over 15 theta is equal to 44 and your theta is 60 degrees. Now with theta at 60 degrees, then you can be able to get the area of the minor segment OAPB, OAPB, which is 60 over 360 times 22 over 7 times 42 times 42, and that is giving you 924 centimeters squared.
students, we have come to the end of our lesson today. And here we have our class assignment number two. Uh, do the two assignments, assignment one and assignment two, and post your work to Google Classroom platform. Ensure that your images are clear and you complete your work on time. And um, where you have any question from what you have discussed today or in the past, you're always free to ask. Have a blessed day. Do the love he felt for us When he bore our sins Listen to his words Let them come alive If we know him as he is There is peace in Christ He gives us hope When hope is gone He gives us strength Peace and grace.